Hello, this is Joseph from Sanctuary Family Farms, and I would love to share with you a passage from 1 Chronicles 11, 15-19. It says, Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me a drink of water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three brake through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the wall, well at Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord and said, My God forbid it to me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men who have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it, therefore he would not drink it. It's incredible to think about both sides. Three of David's bravest warriors, so loyal and respecting of David, risked their lives to get some water for David. When I think about how selfish I can be, it's really convicting of the type of person God desires us to be, selfless and seeking each other's highest good. I'm sure they were thirsty also, but they put aside their own discomfort and safety to serve their leader. On David's side, he refused to drink it. He saw what a sacrifice it was and gave it as an offering to God. He surely was thirsty, but he wouldn't be treated as any different from his men. Not only that, he valued and celebrated what honor it was that his men would risk their lives for him. A true leader, a true friend. I encourage you today to be a true friend to someone else, to seek their highest good, even when it's not advantageous to you. Be blessed.